Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about three bonus grip tips including another way that you can practice the pressure grip and the timing grip. Feel free to let me know in the comments section if you have any snooker grip tips of your own that you can share with everybody else. And if you do enjoy the video please like the video and please do subscribe to the channel. So for bonus grip tip number one, I'm going to try to address a common question, which is how can I get used to the feel of the pressure grip and the timing grip so that when I'm down on the shot, I know that I'm delivering the grip with good form. So one way that you can practice this is by practicing your cue action with the cue midair like this and resting it on your bridge hand. I'll start with the pressure grip and you want to really pay attention to how the fingers and the hand is behaving on the pressure grip as you practice your cue action. So what you want to do with this exercise is to first practice the pressure grip when you're looking and get good at doing this exercise whilst you're watching what you're doing. And then you want to try and get good at doing this exercise when you're not looking. Because let's be honest, when you're down on the shot, the only way that you're going to know if you're performing the pressure grip correctly is from the feel of the shot. So if you can do this exercise well without looking, you should be able to do it when you get down on the shot because you'll know what good feels like. So I'm going to start by practicing the pressure grip in this way. First of all, whilst I'm watching what I'm doing here, and it's just getting used to the fundamentals of the pressure grip. You know, the small finger relaxing slightly and opening up on the back swing, and the index finger relaxing slightly, and the middle knuckle slightly relaxing off the cue when you push the cue through to the chest. And you just want to practice your cue action in this way and just get used to it and get used to the feel of it and try and remember what good feels like when you know that you're delivering the pressure grip in the correct way. So the next step of the process is to perform this exercise whilst you're not actually looking with the pressure grip. So I'm going to demonstrate here that I'm not looking, but I'm trying to remember what good feels like, because this is what you're going to have to do with your grip hand when you're actually down on the shot. So the next step in the process is to set yourself up some basic shots and play a few basic shots and try and replicate the form of the pressure grip that you did in the previous exercise when you're down on the shot, but play it with the exact same pace and start off with some really simple shots like rolls. And when you get more confident with the pressure grip, then start introducing stuns, top spins, screw backs, and stun run throughs. And then you can start adding cue power and gradually the more confident that you become with the pressure grip. And hopefully you'll feel like you've mastered the pressure grip at that point and that you can do it consistently without thinking about it because you'll know what good feels like. Okay, so I've set myself up some basic shots and I'm gonna give the pressure grip a go. Now I'm going to demonstrate the same exercise, but this time with the timing grip. You want to practice your cue action with your cue in the air like this. The first step is to watch what you're doing and pay attention to what your fingers and your grip hand is doing. Try and remember what that looks and feels like. Ready for step two. Step two of this exercise is to perform the grip without looking and the idea is, is that you're remembering what good feels like and you're trying to replicate exactly what you did when you were watching the first time but this time you're not watching. The idea behind this is that if you can do this with your eyes closed then you should be able to do it when you're down on the shot.
So the final step is to set yourself up some basic shots and try and replicate what you did on the exercise whilst you're down on the shot with the timing grip. Bonus grip tip number two. How much pressure should I apply to the grip with my grip hand when I'm holding the snooker cue? This is another common question that I'm going to try and answer for you. If you hold the cue too tight on the cue action, you'll struggle to keep the cue on a level plane and you'll struggle to accelerate the cue through the white ball on the final strike. If you hold the cue too loosely on the cue action with your grip hand, you'll struggle to transfer the power of the shot from the strike into the cue ball. Ideally, you need to be gripping the cue somewhere in between, but how do you know if you're gripping the cue with the correct amount of grip strength? You want to be trying to grip the cue with about 40 to 50% of your grip strength. And you can relax this slightly on the feathers and the backswing to maybe 30 to 40, but certainly the start in address position and the finish position, you should have a hold of the cue at about 40 to 50% of your grip strength. So just to give you an idea, if you hold your cue vertically like this, you should be holding the cue with just enough grip strength that the cue doesn't slide through the grip hand and fall and hit the floor like this. So just enough strength with the grip hand on the cue like this to stop the cue from falling to the floor is about the right amount of strength that you need to be using with the grip hand when you play your snooker shots. Likewise, when you hold your cue horizontally, you shouldn't be holding the cue so tightly that you can't pull away the cue from your hand when you try and do that yourself. Another way to think about the strength that you should apply to the grip when you're holding the snooker cue is imagine you're holding an egg in your hand like this. You don't want to hold the egg so loosely that you drop the egg and the egg smashes on the floor. You also don't want to grip the egg too tightly that you crush the egg. And it's about that kind of strength that you require when you're delivering the snooker cue on your snooker shots with your grip hand. Speaking of grip pressure, this brings me nicely onto bonus snooker grip tip. Number three, stay down at the end of a shot after you've played your shot to check that you're using the correct grip strength with your grip hand. And you can also check to make sure that your grip hand didn't twist on the final strike when you push the grip hand through to the chest. Okay, so I've set myself up a basic shot. I'm going to stay down for a little bit longer than I normally would to try and show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm staying down on the shot. I'm checking the strength of the pressure that I'm applying. I'm satisfied that that's okay. I'm checking the grip hand to make sure that didn't twist when I pushed the grip hand through to the chest on the final strike. I didn't. So I'm satisfied that I passed those particular checks. So there you have it. Three bonus snooker grip tips. I hope you can all find something useful within this video. And if you did enjoy the video, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, cheers.